Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Lord David, and this is XCOM UFO Defense. Now, we were halfway through this crash site. Yep, we did shoot this ship down, but you couldn't tell by looking at it. But we did actually shoot it down. We've took out a few of the aliens already. The one over here was an absolute badass. It took like seven of our guys to do it. But I haven't ended the turn yet, so I'm going to do that now. Hopefully we don't lose a lot of people again. There can't be too many left. It is a crash site, so we have killed four of them. There's probably like three, maybe a fourth, hanging about. But first off, I'm going to check down here. This is usually a problem area for aliens. But it does seem like there's nothing here. So let's start running people up. Vegeta, I need you to run up closer as well. That's a good start. So Maria, do the same. Yeah, I'm just going to get everyone moved up at this point. So let's keep moving. Vegeta's had to go... Go, it wasn't that go. Let's move these people up. Do read that. Right, I don't want to run in too fast, though, by the way, because then I'll end up running out of energy. People will get too knackered to do the thing. So, I'm going to be a bit tentative. Let's get on the corner, come on. There we go. Levy, I need you to check the buildings out over here, so you can do that. Kamina, you can kind of back Levy up. Next is Tanaka, you need to back Richard up. Next I've got Kirito, yep, let's keep him moving, keep him moving. Bash had to go, Boris, Yamcha. Steven, come on, let's keep it going. And that's it, so turn seven. Let's keep it going. Seems eerily quiet. There we go. Right, so we start off with Vash. No, why would we not turn that way first? <laughs> Damn it, man. It's definitely quiet over here, but it can never be a hundred percent. So Vegeta, you come and help him out. Even though you're gonna be useless shooting that heavy cannon at close range if anything does pop out at you. Hopefully nothing does. It's some area, see if you can make it there. Close enough, I guess. Right, reader. I think this is reader, yep. Yeah. Right, come on, reader. Seems quiet. Can I make it? See, I don't want to keep on running in because I like, see, look, energy's starting to run low now. I've been running reader across the wheat field and everything, didn't I? So, for now, let's just try and get towards the front of the ship. I'm not going to actually go around that corner yet, just in case. Let's get these guys set up. Ready to go. Let's get Levy off a check in this building. Seems quiet. Let's keep going though. Never know what can be around the corner. Let's go, go, go. You can run. Next, Yamcha, no. Boris, no. Stephen. Come on then, Stephen. Yeah, we're going to have quite a few men here to, like, breach the ship with as well, so... Hopefully we don't take too many casualties. I prefer to have none. But we'll see what happens once we get there. Come on, here we go, you can move up as well. And that'll do it. So, turn eight, over. There must only be, like, the two or three left in the ship at this point. Yeah, they're definitely moving around in the ship. I get a feeling one might be at the door. No? Alright. I thought there was going to be one at the door there, but never mind. Let's have a look at these uh, in this apple orchard. Assuming that it's apples. 
Team Jump the Right. Rita and Richard are going to be the guys who go at first. Let's not use up too much of their energy to get them there. Oh man, let's keep moving the guys in. That's all I can do at this point, just keep moving the guys in. Doesn't seem to be anything outside, like, oof. Actually, there was just one spot here, so there's no. We'll check this out. We'll check this out. Uh, it looks like it's going to be empty. Yeah, it definitely looks like it's empty. We go in that building though, I'm assuming that there's nothing in there because I can see through the windows. You know, sometimes my guys can be idiots. Looks like it's going to be empty there. Levy, you might as well check this building out. Oh! See, sometimes there is a glitch there, you see, where you can see through the floor, and there is a guy in there. You know what I mean? Like that one spot there where that... I'm sure I've mentioned it in a past video. There's a spot right near the top of them stairs where they will hide out. And they won't move until you get near them stairs. With that little glitch there where you stand on the little hair bell. I mean, I don't mean to take advantage of it, like when you just walk in, and usually they walk onto that one anyway, unless you do it on purpose to dodge it. But well done, yeah, that was one out there targeted. There must only be the ones left in the ship now, but we will check this building out just in case. You should never know, there we go. Blah, one alien corpse. Blah, blah. I'm dead. Uh, my gun, my bullets. Didn't have anything interesting on them, unfortunately. So, let's keep it going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Head towards the UFO. My Vash is pretty knackered, so, yep, he's actually not got enough energy. Silmeria, you're going to be useless to me. So, I'm not going to get you into the ship. You can just hang about over here just in case. Right, so first off, I'm going, I'll run Rita in then. Rita, you go first, come on, what do you see? Nothing, okay. Get to that corner. Richard, right, I want you to run all the way in, Richard, come on. Go, 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 go. What do you see? Tell me, what do you see? Don't see no aliens. Captain Kirido, you can move in as well. I have a superb sneaking suspicion that they are going to have a guy with a stun launcher pop out and shoot me. I don't know if it's intuition or what at this point, but I do get the feeling that there's going to be some kind of stun launcher involved in a minute. So let's not run everyone in. Go have a backup squad to get ready to go in. So here we go, turn 10. What's going to happen now? Still nothing. Right. So we are just going to move in tentatively, like as usually do. Get everyone set up. Right, keep it all. Right, Richard, I want you to go this way. Richard and Rita are going to go that way. There we go. Which means I'm going to have Goku here. Turn that way. Tanaka, I want you here. Come on, get in. There we go. Good little setup we got going on there. Right, so there, you just run back to the ship there. You are kind of useless to me there. Vash, yeah, you would definitely need to rest. Vegeta, run back to the ship, mate. You're going to be no good to me. You guys are done. Kamina, let's get you on the inside as well. Levy, you know, good there. Jump out the building. Let's do a runner. 
Right, just come on. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. Two on the ship. No good to me. No good to me. Right, 10, 11. Done. They must be thinking, what the hell's going on out there? All of our doors are opening. How have they got the technology for that? It's like, we know how doors work. You fools. So once again, read it. Still an out. Okay, turn around. Richard, have a poke in this door. Still an out. Oop, oh, you can actually see it now when he turned around at the door. Yeah, good shooting, miss. Good shooting. Step out the way. Come on. Who did you win? Right. Who's next? Steven. Come on, Steven. Don't get shot. There we go. Come on, finish this guy. Come on. Good shot. It was a good shot, Steven. Come on. Or you just hang back for a moment. Tanaka. Go oh, on, Tanaka. You run it. I think that might be it, but. Nope, there's probably still one left. There he is. No, Tanaka! Damn it! Damn it, damn it, damn it. Goku! Get in there, Goku! Ah, the guy ran away. Okay, Steven. Hunt him down. Yep, there he is, right at the door. So shoot him in the face. Shoot him in the face. And he's down. So I think that might be it now. There we are, that was the last one. Probably the navigator or something there. Getting his final shot in there. Bloody in the last one. Ugh. Even I lose a guy right at the end. But we still did it, UFO is recovered, 8 corpses, uh, 8 killed, 8 corpses recovered, 27 artifacts, 2 operatives died, we got the power source, the navigation, the alloys and the alivium. And since we shot that down, it was pretty much an intact UFO. Right, Vegeta got the sergeant, well done Vegeta. As we go back home. So I did lose another 2 more guys, so I will have to hire some more men. So let's sell off some junk. So I'm going to start with... Let's get rid of some of these rifles. I don't need all the rifles. There we go. Sell some of them. Right, so I've got another heavy plasma. Get rid of them. Plasma rifles. Get rid of them. And the pistols. Let's get rid of them. I don't need them. Yep, one of them did have a small launcher with stun bombs. They are very dangerous to my guys. So I'm going to sell a buy probe. There are lots more corpses. And it looks like that's probably about it. So another 1 point something million. I'm going to get 5 more soldiers. I'll tell you what, I'm going to get 8 more soldiers. There we go, that'll just do. Just the 8 soldiers. We're still doing research on the stuff. Let's keep passing some time though. We've still got plenty of time in this video. Let's see if we can get some more activity. Research complete. The personal armor. So if we get the armor, this is what our soldiers will look like now. It looks very defined armor. It gives us a front armor of 50, left and right armor of 40. That means if we get shot from the sides, get shot in the back, it's only have 30, and from underneath it's 30. That's usually for like explosions and stuff like that, or getting shot on stairs. But yeah, we've got the personal armor now. We've got to manufacture them, of course, so we can't just have a full squad of armor, guys. So next thing I'm going to research, we're going to start doing... We'll, we'll do this medic, the floater medic. Let's do him. Yeah, because that is a live alien we've actually got caught. Right, so personal armor. So this one's a bit more different. It has 22,000 per armor that I make. It takes 12 workspaces. 
but this one takes special materials which is alien alloys to make so it's four for every armor that I make but I've got a hundred and four uh, alien al alloys to begin with so I'm going to start with 14 armors that's a full squad worth of armor we'll finish our alloys there and then I'll put them to work on the personal armor so we'll keep it going I'm assuming that armor is going to get done soon general stores is complete so yep we've got more general stores now yeah, plenty of space for stuff now so let's keep it going I'm expecting that alloys to finish yep there we go so manufacture personal armor let's get all of our engineers on the go there we go 18 days I'll tell you what, i'm going to get five more engineers just to help that productivity a little bit there we are right let's keep it going keep the time ticking let's see if we can get some more activity i'll tell you what i haven't re-equipped the sky ranger yet That's right so Scotty and I am actually back from being wounded, so I will go back onto the team. Just look like he was still wounded there, though. Oh, he's still wounded for 11 days. So it'll be a while before he comes back in. Yep, I'm going to come back. I've only been on one mission. I took a headshot, didn't I? But I'm back for revenge. Here it goes. I have four missions, one kill. So our main one will be Silmeria. Although she's only had three kills. Four missions, three kills. It's not that great. Jesus had two and two. His strength is getting better, so I will think I will keep him with that heavy cannon. His strength, his health is actually really good. His fire action is really good as well. Everything else is about average, though. Uh, anyone else? Oh, I think I've been doing really good. Boris did well. I remember Boris doing all right. Yeah, but he's getting good. Yamch is not bad. I mean, we are doing pretty well. I was soldiers are doing their job so there we go another eight more soldiers i believe i got so let's check them guys out i go he can just make it so i'm going to call this guy and call him igor instead of i go it's igor i don't know uh, gaston gutierre no good, Gaston. Your stats are pretty shit as well, but you're not very brave, so you're no good to me, mate. So next, there uh, we go. They're all at the back here. So Werner Mayer. He's actually not bad. So we're going to call this guy Walter. Next is Henry. Not too bad as well. I'm going to call this guy Gaston. I wanted that last guy, Gaston, to be good, but he was no good. But this guy, Gaston. There we go. So I've got Helen Blake. Not bad, I'm going to call you Helena. Shooting actually is not bad, throwing actually is pretty good. Kind of brave, kind of strong. Health's alright, could be better with the stamina and time units. Good person all around though. Like this one as well. Not too bad, Armanda. Well, <laughs> Amanda. Armanda. Surely they're meant to call that one Amanda there, surely. Christiel. Wow, not too bad, Christiel. Fire actually's in the 70s. Bravery in the 60s. Christian. Yeah, Christian. Don't think I've got a Christian. Vladimir. Great name, mate, but same your bravery doesn't match. And I think that was it. Yep, I think that was it. So, I think that was still only... It was two bad ones, wasn't it? Yeah, so only two bad soldiers there. Well done. Good little batch we got. Let's keep it going. It's not over yet. We're going to keep them seeing if we can get some activity going. More research complete. Yes, here we go. This is the next step of our laser weapons. The laser rifle. So, as the last time, our pistols, I think it was 46. This one's got a damaging laser beam of 60. So it's definitely stronger. It can do an auto, it can do a snap, it can do an aimed. Its accuracy on aimed is 100%, depending on how good the soldier is, of course. It takes a lot of time units to shoot these ones, but the so better accuracy, better damage. This will be what we're going to go with for the foreseeable future when I do get to make them. 
So like it says, the laser rifle is a more powerful and accurate version of the earlier pistol design. So everything I've just said there, I could have just read that to be honest. It would have been the same. But that does get us to research the heavy laser. Which I am going to go straight into. I do like the heavy laser. It's like... The heavy laser is kind of like the sniper version. Because it is really heavy to move about, of course. But it is accurate as hell. So laser rifles, I'm going to try and make 20 of them. Which, let's take off a few on the armors there. Let's get some on the rifles. I wouldn't mind having a few rifles. Whoa, 66 days. No. I'll tell you what. Man, it's going to take forever. Right, let me give seven there. 47 days. Man, that's a lot of time for one, uh, for, oh, well, that's what it is, 20. Oh, research complete. Here we go, the mutant autopsy. The skin of this creature appears to be organically created. Protect it. Oh, try again. Let me try again. The skin, quotation marks, of this creature appears to be an organically created protective armor which is grafted onto the body. There are numerous cybernetic implants which are used to enhance the cardiovascular system and the senses. The reproductive organs appear to have been surgically removed. Evidently, these unfortunate creatures are limited to a life of warfare and conquest. Armor-piercing ammunition is not very effective against their toughened skin. So the floater, the floaters. I think we did the uh, floater medic, so it probably gives us the autopsy for it. And we get the research them alive. So the floaters are primarily soldiers and terror agents. So that mission that we did first fight them on was a terror mission. That's what they usually send floaters for. They are naturally predatorial beasts, genetically engineered and cybernetically enhanced to make formidable warriors. The lower half of their body and most internal organs are surgically removed and the life support system is installed. This implant contains an anti-gravity unit which enables the creature to float, albeit unsteadily, through the air. So that's why we call them floaters. They've got all their crap taken out of them. All of the liver and all that goodness there that we have put in this life support unit. It can make them fly, and they've got enhanced skin as well, so they are quite strong in combat. But that did let us unlock the alien origins, but we're not going to do that yet. Because we, we need to start researching some of this other stuff now, I think. So, we'll go with the Mind Probe. And let's see what the Mind Probe does for us. So let's start that. There we go, plenty of research going. We've got some more engineers. That's going to help with our manufacturing. So I can put two on there. Put three on there. There we go, it's a little bit more manageable. We've got two armors made already. So let's keep that going. I mean, this video is starting to get laughed. I thought we would have had some more activity by now. But let's keep it going. See if I can get any more activity for the next... Uh, before I end this video, sorry. So I'm letting the hours tick by. I'll tell you what, we'll go days. We go living quarters. Missile defense is done. So there we are. Base is looking okay now. So let's do a couple of days. Ooh, there we go. UFO number five detected. Small. It's actually landed. Go. It was going southeast. So ooh, we turned Antarctica. So looking at my production, I've got four armors and two laser thingy magics. So I am going to have armor. Yep. Silmeria is going to have armor. I am going to dish out some armors to people. Needed so Kirito is our captain. I'm going to give him one as well. And who else is going? Who's all right? And Vash, yeah, Vash is all right as well. Let's give him the armor as well. There we go. So I also, <clears throat> I also had no wrong one. A couple of laser rifles made. So I've got two laser rifles. So I can put them on. So two laser rifles, ten pistols. Heavy cannon, auto cannon. We got med kits now as well, so let's take 
four med kits now as well. There we are. There we are. So I am going to save it here. So let's save the game. But that will bring an end to this video for now, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for joining us one more time. Hopefully I'll see you again in the future. Please take care of yourselves.